Hi guys, good to see you. Um, so today uh, we are going to talk about Sarvangasana and this video series is going to be about uh, primarily about how to get into Sarvangasana. So the drills also will be focused around this asana and uh, Priti will tell us the technicalities on how to really get into a very good shoulder stand. Uh, so let's start and this is one of our objectives of season 3. So in every sprint Sarvangasana will be covered. So let's begin. Chakra Siddharanam Sahasra Shir Samshwetam Pranamami Patanjali Om okay, Let's start with a warm up Hands on the hip Hips, shoulders in the same line and start rotating your neck clockwise and anti-clockwise this is the time you start connecting with your body so do it slowly slower the movement the more information you get from that movement so make sure and whenever you feel that you are holding some kind of stress in the neck make sure that you pause and be there for some time release that stretch And start in the other direction now. Anti-clockwise, we'll do five times again. Make sure that you're not moving the shoulder, only head is moving. With the help of your neck, around it. Okay, now we'll continue with spinal wave. This is a very important movement to learn articulation of spine and uh, it is going to help you with uh, flexibility as well as strength, developing strength in the spine. And the intention of this exercise is to learn to move, articulate, move one disc at a time. So tuck your chin to throat and then start as if you are rolling the mat and when you are getting up then imagine that your spine is an engine and spine is a train and head is the engine of it so the way you will move your head your each and every disc is going to follow your head all right i hope i'm clear okay let's continue so as Preeti said, imagine it's a, like a wave, right? The like waves of the sea. Now let's do the other way around. So start from your hips uh, and come up from your head. So when you are going down from your hips, first take the hips back, arch your back and go one disc at a time down. And when you reach down, then you round your back and then slowly come up. So very important, the waveform is important. Don't just go down and come up, you know, like uh, you do used to do your PT, PT in schools, right? <clears throat> it has to be very wavy and should look... Uh, you should be able to understand how your spinal cord is rounding and stretching. It's very, very important. Yeah, that's the whole sole point of this exercise to understand how your spine and torso can move in sync, right? Yeah. So now let's do the next exercise, next warm up, the hand rotations. So here you start raising your hand and then you will feel the point of restriction. There you have to slightly now turn the hand and continue with the rotation. So rotate like this, become aware what this hand rotation is doing to your shoulder joint. Try and engage the muscles 
closer to the shoulders more than uh, the extremities of your hand and because this uh, warm up is more about the shoulder and less about what you are doing with your hand okay so again we will do 10 times clockwise and 10 times anti clockwise all right so now let's start the anti clockwise oh no sorry it's the left hand so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 whenever you are uh, doing this exercise also try to feel around your back so your uh, the the back of your shoulder so the when you're this is a warm up so you're opening your shoulder also yeah so you have to see that with every rotation try to see if your range of motion is increasing or at least you're challenging your, your range of motion another important point here to uh, that you need to consider is that you are not moving the shoulder backward and not taking the shoulder backward when you are taking your hand back right so your shoulders need to be in the same line okay so that is one point another is do not force yourself uh to achieve better range of motion than you have today please respect the limitation because these are warm ups so it should feel like you are opening up the body without forcing um anything on your body these movements should feel my teacher used to say that these movements should feel like a massage hope you already started sweating and yeah one more thing uh, turn off your fans if you have done that turn off your acs your body needs heat yeah very important so you have to you, you otherwise you'll cool down while doing the warm ups and another thing that really helps with a very quick warm up is taking a shower before your exercise right rajesh yeah now we will start with both hands at a time uh in especially in this one there are chances that you will arch your back without noticing of course but please do not do that um keep uh, keep it isolated to only shoulder movement uh keeping the spine in a neutral line you will also observe that um the range of motion is reduced and that's okay focus on your uh on your shoulders and the back side of the shoulder when you're doing this so that uh, you know you'll try to you'll try to understand the range of motion now we'll open the hips try balancing on your legs ideally you should balance but if you're not able to balance then hold a chair or hold side of the wall yeah and try to uh, rotate So here the movement will be initiated from your knee. So try to keep your knees in 90 degrees and isolate your hip flexor and the glute joints so that so that uh, you know you get that hip opening feeling. Here we are trying to move the leg around the hip. So make sure that you don't move the hip. okay it's like ball and socket movement isolate your hip and move the leg around it again we are following the same thing that you are moving the leg in clockwise and anti clockwise if you do it slowly you will understand how your hip flexors are working how your hip extensors are working at the same time you are getting to work on uh, inner and outer thigh Okay now comes the knee So keep your knee static and rotate the leg that the part that comes after knee around the knee and that is the golden rule of warming up any joint the joint that you are trying to warm up will be static and the body part after it is going to cover the whole range of motion around the joint I hope I'm not getting too technical. <laughs> the the whole point is that only keep the joint moving <laughs> apart from the joint your body should be 
should not move yeah articulate focus on only the joint the objective is to loosen it warm it up yeah so that you will be able to load it when we start our yoga exercises so this year we are warming up our ankle joints now let's get into a table top warm up your wrist because we are going to practice uh, chaturanga and it's very important and i feel wrist is a um, quite ignored joint that we don't really consider even warming up but very important so um, occupy as much as as much space as you can with your fingers means fingers wide open and press the wrist the palm whole palm including your fingers press them very hard on the floor and move your shoulders back and forth again i am turning my palm backward where my fingers are facing me again the same rule keep your fingers wide open press the base of your wrist press the base of your finger and the tip of your fingers and here move backward in order to stretch your wrist move around 8 to 10 times and now the back of the palm should be to the floor again open your fingers and this is a very tricky movement many of you might not even able to straighten the elbow here and that's completely okay please respect your limits and just try to straighten your elbow but those of you who can straighten the elbow try and move back and forth a little bit today is gonna be about go warming up the core setting the core in with an intention to try inversion okay so get into navasan we have done this before also so i'm sure um you'll be able to do this and straighten your back straighten your legs if at all you feel that your spine is getting compromised then bend your leg hold for 10 counts 8 9 10 and drop take 10 seconds break let's start the second set get into the pose and yes one two keep your back straight keep your feet active one of the things which i like to do in this pose is keep my uh, focus on my heel so i i love to keep push my heel up with a straight leg that helps me to as a counter balance helps me to keep my upper body also straight 9 10 take a 10 second break okay i am telling you this pose is very challenging for the core staying so low and yet activate the core changing the shape of the spine it takes a lot of awareness and activation in the muscles so get ready you have to press the lower back flat to the floor keep your hands towards your toes keep your legs lifted around say 30 degree of the floor crunching the core as if you are crunching bracing the core holding them together hold this position 10 drop take 10 seconds break let's do the second set get into the pose this is also called a low boat 2 3 4 legs around 30 back also is not totally on the floor 8 9 
नाइन होल 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 टेन एंड यू कैन ड्रॉप टेक अ टेन सेकेंड ब्रेक सो एज अ बिगनर आई नो दैट मोस्ट ऑफ अस थिंक दैट ओनली दैट सिक्स पैक मसल इज द एबडोमिनल मसल बट लेट मी टेल यू दैट इज द मोस्ट सुपरफिशियल एबडोमिनल मसल the main the stabilizer core muscles are tva transverse abdominis and that's what we are going to focus in this exercise so lie down bend one leg and then the other leg you have to keep squeezing to the chest alternately 3 Four, five, down. Take ten seconds break. So let's start the second set. Get into the position. and we'll start with the right leg first both legs straight tuck your right leg to your chest and then do it alternate one two so ensure that your core is getting activated so keep the leg in 30 degrees not more than that four last one five and drop take a 10 second break This exercise is in continuation to feel TVA better and deeper. So for this, lie down on the floor, keeping your spine in a neutral line. So press the lower belly to the floor. Bend one leg and raise the other leg. 2 3 4 focusing on the side abdominal muscle. Three, four, five, and switch legs. I know my counting is very bad. One, two, three. Rajesh always makes fun of my counting that I should do counting classes again. <laughs> five. drop take 10 seconds break let's do the second set get in the pose left leg bent right leg in position up one up two ideally don't touch the heel to the floor Up three, but if you can't do it, then ठीक है. Up four, last one five. Change legs, left leg straight now, and up one. Feel your core. Up two, up. Three. If you there is pain in lower back, you can bend your leg a little bit in your knee. Four and five. Slowly drop down. I'm sure counting was better this time. <laughs> <laughs> Take a ten second. So next exercise is going to be supported. by the wall so find a wall close to you make sure you lie down next to the wall as demonstrated in the video girls please take your hair out of your neck that's very important otherwise it's going to be very very irritating i hate when hair comes down the neck it disturbs the line of the spine so get your legs up on the wall like this bend your knee and here pressing the wall get your hips up get into this position and then take one leg off the wall try and feel the activation in the shoulder hips and legs then switch legs 
again feel the sense of balance slowly activating get aware of this position and as and when you feel comfortable take the other leg off the wall try and balance in this position it may take time but uh, make sure that you be easy on yourself please do not force you can also if you are not able to balance you can repeat balancing on one leg each as we had started right and whenever you are uh, in this position ensure that your uh, it's also called a shoulder stand so ensure that the weight is on the shoulder and not on the neck otherwise you might end up hurting your neck okay now you can get out of the position slowly and rest or or may repeat as many times as you want we do not want to force anything in this session because uh, you're going to take your own time to understand the alignment to get comfortable in this position so feel free to take your own time okay rajesh is going to do whatever i'm going to tell him to do <laughs> so lie down this is going to be a person assisted exercise lie down like this slowly raise your legs make sure that the person is supporting you well push the spine to the floor and here turn the leg a little over close to your head like this make sure that your hips get up then supporting with your hands let your hips come off the floor like this and try and get the balance here take your own time once you have the balance then slowly you can take your legs behind squeezing your glutes activating the upper back and shoulder yet pressing the head and neck to the floor once you feel balanced please hold this position now it's going to be hard to get a real needle straight shoulder stand in the first go so most of you are going to have it bent your hips might not be exactly over your shoulder but don't worry about it this is our objective as as the end of this end of the season asan so you will you are you need to get it by say end of november so chill maro do it properly now start coming down slowly and again you have to reverse the thing so take your leg over the head slowly lower down your hips like this really take your own time to do this and then put the hips down on the floor slowly like this again person assisted and then slowly release the legs on the floor there you go now if you don't have a person to assist you it's still okay follow this sequence as preeti just guided and you should be fine um today we won't be having shavasan uh as part of the video because uh, you know this is an this is a very critical asan which uh, is one of our objectives so we will highly recommend you to practice on your own for 10 minutes you can rewind this video watch it again uh, but at least practice for 10 minutes and then go on your own for shavasan to and uh, unfortunately if you don't have anybody to assist you then please repeat the wall drill again and again and again and again and one day you will be able to get this asan on your own even if you don't have anybody to assist you so that was all from us for today and inversions have a very special place in yoga because it is not only about strength it is not only about flexibility you have to train for both and you have to train your body your joints to hold that alignment so it takes time please give it its own time and just enjoy practicing that yep we are signing off